Hi folks, Max from High on Android.com where we get on Android every day. Uh, anyway, I've got a new ROM for you guys. It's the Bliss Pop ROM for the LG G3. Uh, for those of you who haven't used it, definitely check this one out. Uh, for the LG G3, currently my favorite Lollipop ROMs are Resurrection Remix and uh, this one here. This is running the latest Android 5.0.2. Uh, oops. 5.0.2. Um, and uh, this one is actually got a ton of customization and it is available for most of the G3 variants. Make sure you download the correct version for your G3. For T-Mobile users, uh, Lollipop is still not out. I don't know what, what what's up with LG and uh, T-Mobile um, taking forever. So hopefully it'll be here soon. But in the meanwhile, you can go ahead and enjoy a nice Lollipop such as this one. Now, Bliss Pop is not going to be, uh, it's going to make you lose all of your LG features such as your IR Blaster is not going to work. Obviously, this is an AOSP ROM. Uh, if you don't know what AOSP means, um, go ahead and Google what is AOSP and you'll find my video explanation over at highonandroid.com. All right, this is a standard Android 5.0.2. Everything works out of the box. It's actually a pretty nice ROM, pretty decent ROM here. And uh, one of the things that I like this ROM is, of course, the customizations you can do. Um, you can find that in settings if you go into Bliss Interface. And you can go ahead and customize everything from your clock. You can see I've got center clock here. I've got uh, circle battery. Um, you can do all of that here and customize it. Uh, enable your nef network traffic. Also, you can go ahead and enable brightness control, which I really recommend. You can go ahead and control the brightness. <coughs> using the status bar up here to slide back and forth. All that uh, usual standard stuff. I mean, if you use Nexus devices or if you've used uh, AOSP ROMs before, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, for, for those of you who don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and go over some of these, um, some more options you can do. Uh, recent uh, here, you can go ahead and change the recent uh, clear all button here. Right now it's bottom right, which is like how I like it, but you can change it to bottom left or top left. If you want to, that's this button here if you want to clear all that out. All right, that is very nice. Uh, for those of you left-handed, right-handed, you can customize it the way you want to. Um, also, there's a bunch of more stuff you can do with notification drawer. You'll be able to customize uh, your quick tiles here and also make it vibrate when you touch it. Uh, detail Wi-Fi view. And I believe, let's actually try this together. Um, I think if you just... If you press on it, ah, what happened? Detail view, there we go. If you press on it, it'll actually show you the Wi-Fi instead of having to go into the menu. Um, so you'll be able to do everything from the quick settings. That's actually part of Android 5.1, which I already have on my Nexus's, all my Nexus devices. But uh, if you have a custom ROM, you don't need Android 5.1. Um, all these customizations are really cool because you can do a lot of things that even Google hasn't even thought of, or they put it on the new Android 5.1. Uh, smart control, and uh, here we go, some interesting stuff. Heads up, notifications, lock screen options. Uh, you can go ahead and put weather, uh, shortcuts, gesture anywhere, power menu. And of course, my favorite app circle bar is here too. You can set that here, enable that. You, this is your triggering, uh, triggering bar here. Go ahead and change that. Well, it's not activating it because, oh, there we go. You can go ahead and change the position of it. I usually put it up there, uh, the upper half, and you may want to make the width higher. If you're using a case with a lip, then it's kind of hard to get to, so you can change that. Um, that way it doesn't interfere, interfere with your keyboard. All right, there's a bunch of more options. Uh, also, it does come with Viper for Android uh, here for tweaking your sound. Also, you get CM12 themes uh, compatible with all CM12 themes. Um, these are just standard options for CM12. Uh, so very good, very good ROM. And of course, every custom ROM comes with root. Um, so definitely check it out for this week's ROM of the week. This one, a Resurrection Remix while you wait. Again, you're gonna lose your LG features like LG uh, stock native camera, you're gonna lose. Uh, but the Google camera actually go ahead and it doesn't actually come with it. Go ahead and install it after you uh, install it. It actually works fairly well. Um, let me go ahead and do camera real quick. 
All right, it works well. Video recording also works well. You get uh, recording up to uh, 4K, just like the regular camera. Um, just the interface a little bit different, but uh, you know, other than that, you know, it's a very good ROM. I run it on uh, a lot of my other phones and uh, Bliss Pop and Resurrection Remix, very good ROMs. Um, they also have it for other variants. Um, so just go Google it and uh, they have it for a lot of other phones. So if you, even if you don't have this phone, definitely check it out. Anyway, that was review of the Bliss Pop. Check it out. Uh, and uh, that's about it. And thanks guys for watching this video. This is my second YouTube channel covering the ROMs and my extra videos. If you want to see my main videos, go ahead and subscribe uh, to my main channel over at Zetomax, uh, where I cover stuff like the Nexus 6, the Note Edge, uh, Note 4, and all of the latest Android gadgets. And I'll see you guys soon. As always, stay on Android.